Samsung video is uh, way better than the iPhone. Uh, Why is it better than the iPhone? Oh, the quality of the picture is really good. John's wedding and lots of fun and games I had by all as you can see and I'm now off to do a gig uh, Rising Stars I've never had a good time at Rising Stars I was hoping to write some new material I haven't done so so I'm going from here Soho off to Holborn got my friend Grace coming to watch let's see if it's any good I didn't even say to Glenn do you think that you will learn to perform a reverse vasectomy <laughs> on yourself now that your wife has left you. <laughs> no, I didn't. I said, now that your wife is dead. <laughs> you couldn't save her, could you, Glenn? <laughs> Hello, welcome to North Greenwich. I'm here outside the O2. I've just been to Fordham and Masons in central London, buying my mum a little gift for her birthday. Very fancy in there. And I'm now here at the O2 to see the Impractical Jokers. Yes, you might have seen their TV show before where they do practical jokes on people in the public. But ultimately, will there be anything funny, any ideas that I can use in my stand-up? Welcome to Holland Park. I'm here about to play my first football game of the season. Had to work pretty hard in the gym because I'm very out of shape and uh, hopefully <laughs> I won't be too embarrassing. The team's been doing pretty well without me. In Practical Jokers the other night was really, really good. The uh, warm-up act, Steve Byrne, was sensational. Funny thing about all of that is he's a warm-up act who was so good, he started in 1997. It's 22 years in the biz and it shows that it is a marathon, not a sprint. In 21 years time I might be in the O2 or I might not. And then Impractical Jokers were excellent. They told a lot of stories and put a lot of gags in it. So certainly something I can start thinking about. I've just got to work out where I'm going. Welcome to Old Street outside Lost Company. About to do a little... Stand up, there you see. Uh, stand up comedy, Lost Comedy. Never done it before. Uh, entered it doing the open comedy app. Never used that before properly, I don't think. As I said, I booked it through the open comedy website. Didn't get confirmation email. And unfortunately, they have overbooked their comedians. Now, normally I would stay and watch the other acts, but I've been watching so many acts recently that I'm kind of go, gonna go home and I think I'd do better to actually go home and write some new material, even though I was going to try something a little bit new. Classic Richard Parr, lastminute.com, isn't it? Something I've just got to get a bit better at. <laughs> 